So the long awaited Amazon stock split finally happened. But now what? Now Amazon announced this 20 to one stock split earlier in March, along with a $10 billion buyback. The last stock split the company had was in 1999. And this would make the fourth stock split that they had since the company IPO'd in 1997. Now a stock split is just a way for a company to create more shares and volume for its shareholders. And in this example, if you own one share, it'll become 20 shares and the overall outstanding shares will be multiplied by 20. But now people are saying to buy the stock suddenly because it's cheaper. But before you blindly jump into that, there's a few things to know. A majority of the market year to date is down. And this includes a majority of retail stocks. And before the stock split, Amazon had a 50 PE, which was relatively high for retail companies. In comparison, Walmart has around 25. Now, thankfully, Amazon is more than just a retail company, which also includes AWS, but a majority of its revenue and its operating income are generated from commerce and retail sales. It's not a far stretch to see that the company will have a big hit towards its e-commerce business because the majority of the consumer spending is on a decline because of the high inflation and a potential recession. Many of the other retail stores like Walmart and Target were already hit because of this when they announced it in their last month earnings. I talked more about the retail stores having a decline in an older video, so feel free to check that out. So while statistically a majority of the companies that do complete stock splits are able to outperform the market, our current climate is just different. So whenever you invest in a company, you have to make sure you look at their finances. Now I'm gonna take a look at Amazon using stock analysis. The link will be down in the description below. But every year, this company has had a massive growth year over year with their revenue. But one thing that might throw off the finances for Amazon is the massive growth it had during COVID lockdown, where a lot of people had to stay at home and they were doing online shopping. But this company, like many other retail stores, has an overall profit margin in the single digits. So while the company is a massive grower with its AWS platform, a lot of its logistics and its e-commerce platforms hold it down. And year over year, the company has been making more shares, diluting the shareholder. So there's nothing to say that when they create more stocks with their stock split that they won't do the same. Now I own Amazon and have a position in them, but I would recommend holding off and seeing what the future holds for the company and for the market. But let me know down in the comments if you plan on buying Amazon because of the stock split or if there's any other plays you're doing. And if this video helped you out, don't forget to like or subscribe so I can continue making content just like this.